Hello there, my brother, my sister. God bless you. This is Pastor Prophet Johnson coming in live from the glorious city of Las Vegas. Listen, the Lord Jesus Christ loves you absolutely, infinitely, altogether more than you can imagine. Let me say that again. The Lord Jesus Christ loves you absolutely, altogether, infinitely more than you can imagine. And what he wants to return is for you to love him back again. What he wants to return is for you to love him back. I had the privilege of going to a movie theater uh, last night. And as I was entering the facility, um, husband and wife, black and uh, husband and wife, a white couple, and the young lady saw my hat. She said, I like your hat. She said, I like your hat. And I said, This ain't no joke. I said, This is real. This is this. I said, I used to always say for the last five or six presidential elections that this is the most important election there is. But for real, this is the most important election there is. This election is not only going to secure America's future, but it's going to secure the world's future. This is serious. So that white couple it was glad to see uh, a person of color uh, supporting President Trump. And I, I don't use the word proud. I joyously support his doctrines. I joyously support President Trump's policies. I asked the preacher yesterday, I told the preacher yesterday, you don't have any conflict with President Trump's policies. He said, he said, I, 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 said I said, which policy of Trump that you have a conflict with? You don't. As a Christian, what policy of President Trump do you have a conflict with? You got a conflict with him uh, being uh, trying to save babies by not aborting? You got a problem with him removing the law, allowing men to follow ladies in the bathroom? You got a problem with that? You got a problem with him reducing taxes? You got a pro you got a problem with him with him lowering uh, prescription drug costs? What what problem do you have? What what policy of President Trump or the Republican Party that you got a problem with as a Christian, mm. as a believer? Now, if you are unbeliever, I see you can have problems with with, with his policy because his policies are pro Christian. I see that. Amen. So as I uh, was walked in the facility to go to the theater, this white couple, and the lady in particular, looked at my hat and said, I like your hat. After I watched the movie, finished watching the movie, enjoyed the movie, I saw this black couple coming out of the theater. And she was moving kind of fast, and he, he had a cane. So, so I, I said, you ain't going to leave him, are you? <laughs> and we burst out laughing. And uh, she said, no, I ain't going to leave I said, I know you ain't going to leave him. <laughs> and so as we walked, uh, me and this couple, we had a chance to talk. And as they got to the elevator, she said, and both of them said, we like your hat. This is a black couple. We like your hat. President Trump is going to win by a landslide. People ain't blind. The only people who are blind who are stuck on CNN and those other news China that's, that, that's, that, that does not really promote America. Could, do, you, do you not know President Trump's get about 90, 98% of negative news coverage from those news stations? 92 to 98% of negative news coverage? You ain't hearing the truth about President Trump. You ain't hearing the truth about what's taking place. Do you know President Trump, to my understanding, been the first president to be nominated for four Nobel Peace Prizes? For four? When Obama got nominated, I wonder, wonder why. Was he nominated because he's the first <laughs> black? He hadn't done anything yet. He hadn't been in the office a good two years or a year good. But yet he was nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize. Trump got four Nobel nominations for legitimate, authentic substance. So again, we got many folks who are going to keep the hush-hush about their vote for Trump. Listen, God ain't through with the world yet. God loved him. For God so loved the world. Do you know what do you know what happened if the rapture took place right now? You know how many billions of people would be lost? You know what would happen if Jesus came back right now? You know how many billions of people would be left behind? You know how many a hundred between 150 to 170,000 precious souls die every day? 
You know how many of those precious souls go to a place called hell? You think God is pleased with that? God is nowhere pleased with that. God ain't putting Amy uh, Comey Barrett as a Supreme Court justice. Going to have a six to three a conservative vote in office for nothing. God is God. God is going to expose wickedness, not for the exposure of wickedness, sake, but to get people to get their hearts right. You went to President Trump when? Uh, what's this guy's name? The FBI director. He's out. Just go around Trump and say you're out. Trump want to put somebody in there who's pro America. America. Santa Joe, this is real. God bless you. I love you. Share this video. Enjoy your Saturday. Enjoy your weekend.